Welcome to Take Another Five, your weekly podcast on a bit of this and a bit of that. Hosted by Donna J. Jodham. Hello, hello, hello. It's Donna J. Jodham, and welcome to another week of our weekly podcast, Take Another Five. This is week four of season two, and we hope that you are enjoying listening to us at Take Another Five. My name is Donna Jodham. I am an author, blogger, audio mystery writer, entrepreneur, advocate, and law student. I enjoy everything I do for a living, which includes bringing you these weekly podcasts. Our podcast, Take Another Five. I live in Toronto, Canada. It's in the far north, but you know what? It's not that far. You can come visit us anytime. Are you tired of not having enough time to complete your tasks at home and at work? Are you finding that you simply do not have enough time to make your family's favorite meals? Or that you're, you have simply run out of ideas for recipes? Are you finding that there is simply not enough time for you to visit that app store to download those time-saving apps? <coughs> or that you are having problems keeping up with your household chores, things like keeping your counters and dressers, bathrooms and laundry room clean, spick and span. And in the midst of all of these daily dilemmas, you yearn to and dream to become your own boss and take charge of your life, but you don't know how to do it all or that you simply do not have enough time to tackle this. And to add to your growing list of headaches, you find yourself having to deal with scam emails and phone calls. And on top of all of this, there are those who continue to bully you into doing things because you they know only too well how much pressure that you are under and that it is easier for you to give in rather than take action. That's not fair, is it? Yes, your demanding kids, those ringing phones, blaring horns, and demanding supervisors and customers. They are all responsible for your sleepless nights and stressful days. And let's not forget those persistent text messages and emails that you keep ignoring because of not enough time to deal with them. Here is where our podcast, Take Another Five, comes in. And we have solutions and strategies that can definitely help you. We're not joking. We're telling you the truth. So what is Take Another Five really all about? We are here to help you cut corners, provide you with time savers, and provide you with problem poppers. It's all about helping you to overcome many of those annoying daily dilemmas. Use of time savers and corner cutters to help your tasks more enjoyable and bearable, and to find solutions to head scratchers. You think this is impossible? It is not impossible. We are here to help you reduce your stressful days and sleepless nights. Well, we've got five segments that can help you. We have our kitchen corner, for the busy mom and housewife and the professional on the go. Okay? 
Then, in our second segment of Take Another Five, we have technology that we're going to put you in touch with to help you save time. Okay, segment three of Take Another Five is all about time savers and corner cutters. Right, and problem poppers, let's not forget those. It's meant to help you spend less time with your tasks around the home. Then we go to segment four of our podcast, Take Another Five, and it all has to do with helping you to realize your dream to become your own boss. And that is with me in the end zone with the entrepreneur. Then finally, segment five of our podcast, Take Another Five. It's all about helping you to stay ahead of bullies and scams. And we will help you to avoid scams and scammers and help you to overcome bullies and bullying. Right. Before we get started, let's give a special thanks to our producer and our marketer. Our producer is Mike Cicello. And you can reach Mike at M underscore dsmusic at bell.net and you can call him at 514-827-9092. Mike lives in Montreal, Canada. And to my favorite marketer, Mike Babcock, you can go to Mike's website and communicate with him there. Mike's website address is http colon slash slash www.yourround sorry let me start again http colon slash slash www.yourownpay sorry yourroundpay.com why am I mixing it up today again http colon slash slash dot www dot yourroundpay Com. Good. All right. It's time for us to let you start off things with a brain teaser. I like these brain teasers because it gets you ready to be settled settle into your favorite armchair, get comfortable, and get ready to stay with us for a few more minutes. What's your favorite hour of the day? Is it morning time after breakfast to read your newspaper? After lunch to have a little snooze or after supper just to watch some TV? Think about it as you get ready for our first segment. And we'll catch you on the other side. Welcome to my kitchen corner. Hey there, it's Donna Jill Johnham, and welcome to segment one of our podcast, Take Another Five. Well, we're here at our kitchen corner, and it's time for us to help you cut corners, save time, and become a superstar in your very own kitchen. And we'd like to thank Mama Peach for having so generously shared so many of her recipes with with us. So thank you, Mama, for this. Right. Well, let's see what we have in store for you for this week with our recipes. Hmm. It's a simple starter, and it is cheese stuffed peppers. You need a 124 ounce jar of whole mild banana peppers drained. 12 ounces of cream cheese softened. One six ounce package of dried sliced salami. Cut your stems from your pepper and remove your seeds. Rinse, slice horizontally if needed to remove all of your seeds. Fill each 
pepper with the cream cheese and wrap each with a slice of a salami. Secure with a dab of cream cheese or toothpick. This makes eight whole appetizers or slice each into thirds for approximately two dozen appetizers. Doesn't this sound terrific, folks? Mm -mm -mm. I can't wait to try it. Now, what do we have for our bonus recipe this week? And we'll tell you, if you want this bonus recipe, <clears throat> you need to go to www.takeanother5.com slash S2E4. www.takeanother5.com slash S2E4. And let's see what we got for our bonus recipe this week. It comes from the Sensible Soups and Stews category, and it is chilled melon soup. That sounds good, isn't it? So, go to takeanother5.com slash S2E4 and fill out the email and you will receive this bonus recipe. Good enough. Hope you're enjoying listening to our podcast, Take Another Five, and we will catch you on the other side when we go to segment two. Time to Take Another Five with Technology. Hi there, it's Donna Jill Jodhan, and welcome to segment two of our podcast, Take Another Five, and we hope that you are enjoying listening to Take Another Five as much as we are enjoying bringing it to you. Well, it's time for us to enter our technology segment, Take Another Five with Technology. Hmm... And this week, we'd like you to meet a very nifty little app called Flight View Elite. That's spelled F-L-I-G-H-T-V-I-E-W. Next word, Elite. E-L-I-T-E. Flight View Elite. And this is available from your friendly Apple Store, or App Store, I'm sorry. What is Flight View Elite all about? Well... It is a full-featured flight tracking app that provides information about upcoming and in-air flights. You can check the type of aircraft, gate assignments, and receive alerts about delays and cancellations. If you go to the App Store, you will find three versions of this app. The first is called Flight View Elite and this costs $3.99 US. The second is Flight View and this one is free. And the third is called Flight View and this costs 99 cents US. Okay, we don't want to confuse you, but the second version is free. Okay, and choose version two. Okay, and it is free. Give it a whirl, download it, give it a whirl, and see what you think. It's great for you know when you want to check flights incoming and I can assure you that it's going to bring you a lot of information that you normally wouldn't be able to get. Flight View Elite, um, the second version, is the most accessible. This is why we're recommending. Again, you could download Flight View Elite from the App Store. All right, that was short and sweet, eh? Hope you're enjoying listening to Take Another Five. And now it's time for us to go on to segment three. And we'll catch you on the other side. Not enough time. 
Welcome to Time Savers and Problem Poppers. Hey there, it's Donna Jill Jodham, and welcome to segment three of our podcast, Take Another Five. And we truly hope that you're enjoying listening to Take Another Five. Now it's time for us to introduce Time Savers and Problem Poppers. And what is this segment all about? Well, I'll tell you what. We are going to introduce an article to you, and we're only going to give you part of this article. It's entitled, 10 Ways to Winterize Your Home. It may be a bit late for this winter, because this winter is almost over. But you will be in lots of time for next winter. And if you would like to get the entire article, go to www.takeanother5.com slash S2E4. Okay? www.takeanother5.com slash S2E4. And we will be happy to send you the entire article. But for now, we're going to whet your appetite. So let's go, folks. Ten ways to winterize your home. Here's the first tip. Clean those gutters once the leaves have fallen. Remove them and other debris from your home's gutters by hand, by scraper, or by spatula. And finally, by a good hose and rinse that winter's rain and melting snow can drain and clog drains and form ice okay so you need a good hose you know something it can all form ice and it can also freeze dams in which water backs up and freezes water to seep in to the house. The Insurance Information Institute says all of this, so please take note, okay? When water freezes and it backs up into all these different outlets, including dams, and then it melts, guess what? It comes tumbling down into your gutter. But as you're hosing out your gutters, look for leaks and misaligned pipes. Also, make sure that the downspouts are carrying water away from the house's foundation, where it could cause flooding or other water damage. Hmm, this is dangerous, so you need to pay attention. The rule of thumb is that water should be at least 10 feet away from the house. And this is said by Michael uh, Brawley. I'll spell that for you. B-R-O-I-L-I. Brawley. The director of the Well Home Program for the... Okay. And... You can see more about this by going to http colon slash slash dot org. Okay. Now, we can send you this article. We can send you this entire article. Okay. But all you got to do is to go to www.takeanother5.com slash S2E4. Here's another um, tip for you. Block those leaks. And one of the best ways to winterize your home is to simply block obvious leaks around your house, both inside and outside. And the experts say this. The average American has homes or has a home that leaks that amount to 
a nine square foot hole in the wall. That's a lot. And this is according to the Earth's group. First, you need to find the leaks. On a breezy day, walk around inside holding a light inset stick to the most common drafty areas. Recessed lighting, window and door frames, electrical outlets. Then, by door sweeps to close spaces under exterior doors and as well what you need to do you need to caulk or apply tacky rope caulk to those drafty spots okay and again you could learn more by going to www.takeanother5.com slash s2e4 Complete the email and we will send you the entire article. Right? It's, it's worth it. Trust me. Okay? So, this is a bonus for you. You want to get this entire article because it's going to help you greatly to reduce your costs, to reduce damage or any sort of potential damage. All right? Go to www.takeanother5.com slash s2e4. Right, it's time for us to move on to segment four of our podcast, Take Another Five, and we hope that you are enjoying listening to Take Another Five, and we'll catch you on the other side. In the End Zone with the Entrepreneur. Well, looky here, we're up to segment four of our podcast, Take Another Five. We hope that you are enjoying listening to our podcast, Take Another Five. And it's time for us to enter the end zone with the entrepreneur, and that's me. I've been an entrepreneur for, since 2000, and I have lots to share with you. And for this week, it's all about how to start a house cleaning business. This is kind of relates to our previous segment where we talked about winterizing your home, eh? Anyways, how to start a house cleaning business. Your main clients for this type of entrepreneurial business are really your seniors, busy professionals and busy moms. You'd be surprised to know how many people within these groups that I have just mentioned are looking for house cleaning services because they're either just too busy or they're just not able to do it for themselves. You can enhance your services by offering after hours services. Okay, so like outside of your regular times of nine to five. Okay. You can offer your services on weekends and you can also offer services to clean up after parties. I'll tell you what, you would be amazed to know how many people are looking for services to help them clean up after parties because they don't want to do it. It's all dirty and sticky and messy and hey, they're looking for those types of services, trust me. So, if you would like to know more about how to set up this type of business, I have a bonus for you. Go to www.takeanother5.com slash s2e4 and complete the email and I will give you 10 free minutes to answer any questions that you may have on this particular topic for this week. Okay, again, go to www.takeanother5.com slash s2e4, fill out the, the email, and I will give you this bonus, 10 free minutes of my time to answer your question. Okay, right, it's time for us to motor on to segment five, and we'll catch you on the other side. 
Hope you're enjoying listening to Take Another Five. Help us beat the bullies and the scams. Hey, it's Donna Jill Jodhan, and guess what? We're up to segment five of our podcast, Take Another Five. I can't believe we're almost at the end of another podcast. Right, we have some information, useful information for you. And we want to tell you about a scam that is going around. Be careful now. This scam has to do with telling you that you have won an airline ticket. And trust me when I tell you that this is a very enticing scam. Okay? It comes as a phone call. It is a recording. And you are asked to provide some personal details. Either you can say it or you can type it in through the options that they present to you. Simply hang up. Do not make the mistake to say anything or press any button. Hang up right away. Because if you don't and you are fooled into you know, giving your information, you're done for. Because they're going to take that information and cause a lot of havoc to your bank accounts and everything else. Right. Let's go to part two. Building awareness about bullying and bullies. You know, last week we talked about the teacher raising their voice at the student. Now this week we're going to tell you about when the student raises their voice at their teacher. This is bullying because the student has no right to raise their voice at their teacher in the same way that the teacher has no right to raise their voice at their student. This is bullying. And you may not be aware of it, but now you are, and you can do something about it. All right? Good. We are at the end of segment five, the final segment. But before we let you go, you need to listen in to our wrap-up because we have a very important announcement for you, something that I am very sure that you would want to take advantage of. So, stay tuned for our wrap-up, and we'll catch you there. Hey there, it's Donna Jill Jodhan, and I cannot believe that we are at the end of our podcast, Take Another Five. It's the end of week four of season two of Take Another Five, and we want to thank you for having tuned in and listened to us. We have an announcement for you, as we have been promising throughout our podcast, but before that, just want to let you know that we've made things a bit easier for you, in that you can just go to www.donnajodhan.com slash takeanother5.html, and there you'll be able to pick up your bonuses for this week. So now on to our announcement, which we started for you last week, but we're going to tell you again. It's all about giving you the opportunity to subscribe on a very, at a very affordable rate on a monthly basis to get recipes. You know, so many people are often looking for recipes that would help them in so many different ways. Recipes for parties, recipes for picnics, recipes for the family, recipes for functions, recipes for almost anything, recipes for dieters, recipes for health conscious folks. And we have the solution for you. Yes, indeed, it is our monthly subscription um, program that you could sign up for. It's extremely affordable. And all you need to go do is go to www 
dot donna jodhan dot com slash take another five dot html yes that's all you need to do go there sign up for your monthly subscriptions and i'm telling you you won't be sorry you will receive recipes that you will never have the chance to find very easily i can guarantee you that so go there give it a whirl see what you think and we want to hear from you too okay great want to wish you a great rest of the day a great rest of the week thank you for tuning in and i'm donna johnhan wishing you all the best and keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars bye for now and see you next week <music>